Hello everyone, Lonely Farm Guy here with a new mod for Wednesday, March the 30th. And we have a cracking new mod today, <laughs> as Mr. Sealy P would say. Uh, this is the uh, U.S. Animal Food. It is a factory and it makes uh, pig food and TMR. 2.38 megabytes to download. And this is by FIB7. Fib7 is the uh, modder with this, and uh, the slot count I'll check later. However, because I've had this, I've got this filled already, it took me a little bit to fill it because, uh, well, first of all, where do we find it? Productions and factories, and uh, here it is, uh, at U.S. Animal Food. Only $40,000 to purchase, which is amazing to start with, of course. 40 grand. Now, let's have a look at it. Let's go here. Let's go here. So you can see there's there's lots of stuff in there. It's nice. The field information pops up right away. There it is. I haven't set anything to work yet. So, it has an interesting production chain menu because um, you have some choices uh, for pig food. Um, the recipe for 60 pigs, so this is a, a, a smaller production. So it has two production choices for pigs, for 60 pigs. Uh, one is uh, corn, sunflower, uh, canola, and potato, and yes, diesel. Now, no, no, let's, let's talk about the capacities. Capacities, storage capacity, are 500,000 liters for everything. Now, the diesel, it'll hold 500,000 liters of diesel, too, because that's in the recipe, which is which is a little bit different, but interesting nonetheless. Now, if you do the math on the recipe, it adds up to 75, except for the 0 0.01 diesel, which is, um, I'm assuming, for running the factory and cost per unit there. Um, the, uh, the alternate is... Uh, beets instead of potatoes you see those now that's going to run you 48 uh, cycles per month uh, the the description says uh with that uh production for pigs that's gonna that's gonna make 150 liters per hour or 3600 liters per day which is pretty good moving on to the pigs for 120 it is uh uh, there's two choices there as well. One uses potatoes, one uses beets. And this, uh, the description says, it will produce 300 liters per day, per hour, sorry, 300 liters per hour at 7,200 liters per day. Um, yes. So, uh uh, there's also the note, if you turn them all on, you can have them all running at the same time, it will produce 900 liters per hour and 21,600 liters per day. Right? Okay, that's a lot. <laughs> now, moving on to the TMR. TMR is also interesting. It will take hay, straw, silage, and a little bit of diesel even if you move it all the way up. So that recipe goes up from a production of 250 to 500 to 1,000. So if you have them all turned on, that means 100, uh, 1,750 liters per cycle, which uh, broken down, uh, the 85 cow production will, con will produce 2,500 liters per hour or 60,000 liters a day. The TMR for 170 cows will produce 10,000 liters per hour and 240,000 liters per day. Uh, sorry, that was the third. Uh, yes, oh, 120. So the third one is 10,000 liters per hour and 240,000 liters a day. If you have them all turned on, 
Ooh, 17,500 liters per hour with them all turned on and 420,000 liters per day. Ooh. So, high production numbers. Now, <laughs> how's that going to translate into um, operations? Well, we've got them all filled up to the max. I haven't turned them on yet. I'm going to turn them on. I'm going to fast forward one month and see uh, see what happens. Now, something to note, as this is a little bit of a pet peeve of mine with some some of these factories the unload point is over here which is fine it's a little bit tight but um the trigger comes up uh oh, i'm gonna put the help window on here just to show you uh the start feeling there you can just back it up like this it's kind of like an oh there's the pipe there it looks like uh you can only take out once the products are in you can only take out the mixed product you can't take out the raw materials again um so once they're in there they're in there you can't take them out unless it unless they make the product so that's something i would like to see in these factories is uh, to take out and then some of them do that some of them you can take out put in take it out the omatana one uh not tmr she doesn't have a tmr factory but the the silage uh factory she has you can take stuff in and out acts as a stylo actually uh so i would like to see that uh however this one does not so just be aware of that even the diesel you put too much diesel in there uh, you're never going to get it back out period okay so we're going to fast forward uh, and then we're going to see what's going on right now so what was the result uh, just before I look at it, I think the uh, description needs to be adjusted because here we are. Uh, so we've went ahead one month because I have one one day months, and you would think uh, everything would be just emptied out if it was uh, if these the numbers described on the website were per day. They are not per day, so it is not. 420,000 liters per day for TMR and 21,000 liters per day because these would all be empty because there's 28 days in a month. It is per month. Now, having said that, it's still pretty good. So with them all turned on, I have, this is the month going forward. Obviously, the TMR down there is 388,000, not quite <clears throat> because we probably started. We started a day a little bit... Uh, late going into the next day so how many however many days you have a month or whatever that is per month so pig food you're only looking at about twenty thousand per twenty thousand per month and tmr is actually closer to the four hundred thousand ish <clears throat> per month so um the pig food if you fill those things up they're going to last a very long time before they run out just so you know and remember you can't remove anything so um pig food <clears throat> yeah you're going to need corn and beets the other two so just keep that that recipe in mind and put only in there what you think you're going to get out in a reasonable amount of, amount of time same with the diesel uh, 500,000 liters of diesel is going to cost you a fair chunk of money and it does not get removed very quickly uh, when it's 0 0.01 liter uh, per cycle and see we've, we've only used uh, what less than a hundred less than oh geez 13 liters <laughs> 13 liters yeah we've only used 13 liters in one month uh, just so you know, you don't have to fill it up. 13 liters a month with all the productions, every single one of them running. So, beware. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see how fast it fills up, because if you got that much TMR in there, I want to know 
how fast this fills up. Not very fast. So, yeah, it's it's filling up. It's gonna take a minute. So uh, we're gonna stop that because um, it looks like it's gonna store five hundred thousand liters. We're gonna jump ahead in time another month to see what the total capacity is but I'm gonna guess it's 500,000 that's what it looks like we'll be back oh right <clears throat> so we're back and as predicted uh, 500,000 liters storage capacity so just beware after a month of production <clears throat> you're gonna run out of well run out of space in your TMR you'll have to empty it every month or have it uh, okay, you could have it distributing or selling as well. <clears throat> Any one of those. Uh, the pig food is dreadfully slow at production, as you can see here. Um, so, another reason why pigs aren't worth it. <laughs> so that's a little disappointing, but uh, I'm not going to ever use the pig food production for anything. So... <clears throat> Just a word of caution with the pig food. Uh, the TMR, yeah, you're going to have to. So, two, two, uh, two downsides. One, one big upside is, yes, it holds a lot. Uh, the TMR production doesn't need mineral feed. It takes diesel, not much. So you don't need to put much diesel in. Uh, 13 liters a month. Uh, yeah, uh, throw, throw one of those little 20 liter canisters at it <laughs> once a month. And I think you should be fine. Um, you can't, pet peeve number one, you can't remove product once you've put it in unless it's pig food or TMR. Uh, number two, uh, the, the unload speed is dreadfully, dreadfully slow. Uh, so it's going to take a minute to get that stuff out of there. Uh, it's going to be one of those things you have. You start it up and you go do something else for a while. Um, aside from that, it's it's definitely going in the right direction <clears throat> for what I want to see in factories and TMR, especially TMR because that's kind of a thing that we had lots of factories, but they all t seem to be very slow. <clears throat> so it's it's uh for that reason it's not going to get the awesome tag no it's just going to be another factory i would think i'm going to put it on my uh, dairy farm though because of the much larger production it can handle but it's still kind of slow um you would think it would be able to mix that stuff like lickety split and you're just mixing it together you don't have to wait for it to ferment or anything same with the pig food. You could probably pump that stuff out. I mean, yeah. But anyways, uh, that's the that's my assessment and the testing <clears throat> uh, for the U.S. Animal Food uh, Factory by uh, Fib Seven, two point three eight megabytes to download, and uh, and it's still filling. So we're going to tell you what the slot count is because we're going to get rid of it. And uh, we're going to, there it is. The slot count is, yeah, well, only one. One slot. So that's good. Uh, yeah, plus, 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 one slot. Cheap to buy. Holds a lot. Fairly quick with the TMR, very slow with the pig food, and you can't remove product once you go in. So those are the main points of this and I'm Lily Farm Guy, and remember, it's just a game. So till next time, bye for now.